Hi there, and let's get to it. Before we even start exploring the color correction tools, I would also like to establish how we're going to be comparing clips in the viewer. This is because it's a very important part of the color correction process, and I'd rather get it out of the way immediately so we can start employing it as soon as we start grading. So first of all, there's three ways that we can compare clips inside of the viewer. The most common way is to use a split screen using the images saved inside of the gallery. Let's say I want to match this clip to this clip. First thing I'm going to do is right click and grab a still of this clip. It doesn't matter that there's no grade applied to it. This is a completely neutral clip at the moment because I can still use it for comparison and to get this clip to match it. And all I have to do is double click the still in the gallery. So now I have the screen split up. I can click and drag the middle so I can find a better point of comparison. I can even drag it off the edge, like so, and then continue dragging it out on the other side so that I'm not stuck to just using one particular half. In the top right corner, you can see there's a few more options for the wipe type. So instead of horizontal, I might prefer for it to be vertical. And then I can see these shadowy areas better and I can start matching it to the shadowy areas on top here. I can also choose to mix the two clips, or I can very simply right-click and choose Invert Wipe to very quickly switch between the two. So then using something like this, I can try to match his shirt to this back door area, which means I have to introduce a bit of red into the shadows, and maybe make it ever so slightly darker. And I can show you this before and after the grade. It's very mild, but that's usually how matching looks. So that's one out of the way. I'm going to reset the grade for this clip. And I'm also going to delete the still. Now we're going to use reference modes. This doesn't require a still. This will just allow me to navigate the timeline using two halves of the viewer. Uh, this is very similar to using a reference monitor inside of other NLEs, except both monitors are being represented in one screen. So to do that, I just have to click on the viewer, go into reference mode, and choose what kind of reference I'd like to enact. So I'm going to turn on timeline to indicate that I want to use the timeline as a reference. I'll have the clip that I want to grade selected, and then I'll right click on the clip that I want to match it to, and choose wipe timeline clip. And you can tell from the two highlights that my active clip is orange, and the clip that it's using as a reference is blue. So I can switch to whichever clip I want with this. All right, and that's it. I am going to turn off Show Reference Wipe to reset this. And lastly, we're going to be looking at two, three, or four clip mode in the viewer to see several versions of a grade simultaneously. For this, I'm going to generate a series of stills with different grades uh, to really show you how this looks. So I'm going to right click on the screen, go down into my split screen and turn it on. At the moment, I'm only seeing one video displayed because I only have one selected, but I can click on arrange. So I can select the clip, hold shift on my keyboard and then click on seven. This selects all of the clips in between, which means that I can now compare four clips uh, and I have a white outline indicating what my active clip is. So I can continue grading it for a better match. When I right-click, I can choose further comparison modes. We'll look at versions and groups in later videos, but I could look at neighbor clips, which will only focus on the clips directly around the selected clip. I can also choose to look at gallery grades. So this is where all these other options came into play. I can even click and select multiple grades and check them out side by side. Now that we know the shortcut for full screen, Control F, we can even expand it and take a much closer look. Uh, these colors are like really dramatically different, which is really good for demonstrative purposes, but usually grades are not this uh, intensely different. And then when you're done comparing, you just right click and turn the split screen option off. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.